Okay, so this video is being shot on the iPhone 14 Pro Max's front-facing camera with cinematic mode, which looks absolutely gorgeous, if I do say so myself. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're talking about Apple rolling back compatibility and support for older models of the iPad Pro with the feature Stage Manager. This is iPad OS's flagship feature that allows you to resize windows in multitasking with the iPad. Now, it was previously exclusive to the M1 iPad iPad Pro and I had made a video on this previously by the way hit the sub button click the bell all that stuff if you like this I had made a video saying look at the end of the day Apple knows what's best for their devices for the best premium iOS experience they built iOS and iPad OS from the ground up they know their devices including the M1 and previous versions of the iPad Pro and this is what they feel is best well now they're backing that up they're walking it back allowing the 2018 model and newer basically the 2018 and the M1 to run Stage Manager. And I'm actually thinking the 2017 could probably run it too because that has some serious multitasking horsepower. No, I'm super frustrated because Apple is supposed to do what's best for the customer and not just lock the software down just so that they can sell new products, right? And I know Apple's probably done this with a ton of devices, but never so blatantly as with Stage Manager. The biggest comment that I saw on my previous video and videos about this topic was, look, you've got Chromebooks and, you know, $150 crap laptops that can multitask. So you're telling me that A-series chips inside the iPad can't multitask? And it was a little weird, but like I said, at the end of the day, I said Apple knows their software and they know their hardware. And this just comes off as dishonest, like they misled people into thinking that, hey, maybe the older iPads really can't support all these new great and improved features um, that only the M1 can really run. It's just foolishness. And here's the thing, iOS and iPad OS as a whole is just becoming uh, not very useful in terms of taking advantage of the chips of the hardware inside these devices. And that's what's causing a lot of frustration. And maybe it's the reason that Apple is locking down features because at the end of the day, probably 2017 and newer iPad Pros can run basically all the features um, that are not hardware exclusive uh, to iPad OS. Uh, that means that you don't need an iPad newer than 2017 here in 2022. And Apple just refuses to give us more professional apps. I'm talking Final Cut. I'm talking Logic Pro 10. I'm talking DaVinci Resolve, maybe even Premiere. We know Adobe's been working on Adobe Suite for iPad Pro, but Apple has not really leaned into this. And this is why, and I'll close with this point, iPad Pro... M2 should not come out this year. There's no reason for it. What are you going to give us? Performance improvements? The 2017 and 2018 iPad Pros have ridiculous performance on iPad OS because essentially it's running iPhone software with the power of a laptop and it's absolutely no problem. So what are you giving us M2 iPad Pro for? So you can move the camera over, add an M2 chip, maybe slim down the border, maybe give it dynamic island, which nobody really needs, and, and then charge us for it. Uh, especially with this move with Stage Manager, it just shows that Apple's trying to squeeze as much cash as they can out of their customers with this iPad when they could literally just give us better software. That would make everyone happy. It would make the pros happy. It would make iPad older iPad users happy. It would make the M1 users happy. It would make people who go out and spend the cash for the M2 iPad Pro happy. It would just make everybody happy. So I don't see why this is such a, a, a big deal. It seems like a no-brainer to me. But of course, I want to know what you think down in the comments below. So check out the description. I'll have a link to my previous video down there. And be sure to support and stay tuned for more. We'll be keeping an eye out for this new M2 iPad Pro as it may be coming in an October or November event. And again, I don't think we really need it. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Chris Grant Jr. Again, this was shot on the iPhone 14 Pro Max's front-facing camera with uh, cinematic mode. And I got to say, it looks really good. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Chris Grant Jr. It's the Grant Show.